Hello everybody, today is day 16, April 17th. I'm bringing you a little update, a hump day update, into what's happening in the news. I was looking at my BBC app, as I do every day. So, a Dutch organization is trying to tell people that you can buy a one-way ticket to Mars. You can go live in Mars, you can be a pioneer in a new world. And this all sounds fantastic, I mean, tra traveling the stars. Let's take a look at some of the downsides. Now, if you want to get to Mars, guess how long it's going to take? Seven to eight months to get to Mars. And in that time, you will lose muscle and bone mass. Okay, say you can get past losing the muscle mass and the bone mass. Okay, you can do it. I commend you. But once you go there, you can't come back. Earth has a higher amount of gravity than Mars ever will. Okay, we get that. But try coming back from low to high, your, your lungs will probably crush and your body will probably break into a million pieces if you try coming back to Earth. You get new people every two years, so you better be alright with those people that you go with. I mean, if you have feuds, as a lot of people do, um, you could probably destroy the whole human race on Mars. I don't know how many people they're planning to send at one time. Maybe that person will go crazy. Who knows? New people every two years. And if you don't want to possibly die from cancer and cancer caused by radiation there, you gotta build your own house out of the stuff they send you, the special house that you can live in, and then you gotta dig up holes and pour the dirt, the soil from Mars, on top of your house. And these houses aren't, aren't little mounds. They're probably about 15 feet tall, and imagine covering that in dirt. Fun, huh? Other than the constant fear of getting cancer from radiation, you can... your immunity system will decrease, and who knows what kind of pathogens live there. Second story update is Mexican Vigilante. So when I think of a Mexican Vigilante, the first thing that comes to my mind is Zorro. Well, basically the whole government is corrupt, and drug cartels own everything, own the police. Drug cartels own all basic forms of control in Mexico. So we have Mexican vigilantes, Mexican communities of vigilantes, so a lot of Zorros in one place, fighting against drug cartel family. 7.8 earthquake in Iran. Think about it. Read about it. Send them your prayers. Next thing on the agenda was, I read about ricin. Somebody sending poison-filled packages or letters to senators. This article brought up a really cool story about a, a famous murder that happened in 1978, Giorgio Markov. And apparently, he went up to a stranger and jabbed his umbrella that had a point at the end into the stranger's leg. And it injected a pellet of ricin into this guy's leg. It's a thousand times more toxic than cyanide. You killed somebody by jabbing an umbrella tip into their leg. Some people. My name is Efren Alva. This channel's Mind Your Expanses. And hopefully I've helped expand your mind.